You'll see that I'm a bit of a magpie, says the interior designer owner as we arrive at her Dorset home, an 18th century stable block conversion. In my job, I see so many wonderful things all of the time, so I stash them away and wait for the perfect time to use them. I fell in love with this Sophony wallpaper the second I saw it. None of my clients wanted to use it, so I saved it up for myself. The house is a treasure trove of beautiful things, where antique benches sit beneath contemporary portraits, straw hats perch on the tips of wall-mounted antlers, and family heirlooms jostle for space with more recent souvenirs. Everything has a personal meaning for the owners. Here in the sitting room, for instance, the intricate marquetry cabinet was inherited from the owner's parents, and the bronze is one of her old horses. With three children and a dog and a busy country life, the rooms need to be functional as well as beautiful. I've done so many Shaker-style kitchens over the years, but for my own home, I wanted something very simple and easy to clean, says the owner of the lacquered units with concrete work surfaces, which she designed and produced herself using homemade crate frames. The contemporary feel of the kitchen also makes it the ideal place in which to show off modern artworks, including an eye-catching portrait of a hawk by Rory Nugent. The owner grew up in Austria and Germany, where she says there are always millions of antlers everywhere. In her own home, they serve as both ornament and as quirky hooks on which to hang the family's coats and hats. In the television room, the owner has complemented leather mementos brought back from Argentina with a textured leather wallpaper and some Moroccan cushions for good measure. I wanted it to feel quite horsey and gaucho-esque, she says. The dining room wallpaper was a touch too much on the bland side for the owner's taste, so she decided to give it a colour punch by colouring the printed birds with one of her daughter's green crayons. The unusually positioned staircase, which leads from the landing straight down into the dining room, makes me think of all those times when I was young and I would sit at the top of the stairs peering down while my parents had all those amazing dinner parties, says the owner. I love the idea that my children can have that experience as well. Despite its large size, the house feels cosy and welcoming. Like the television room, the main bedroom has an international flavour, with vivid colours to convey a hint of Mexico. Travelling is one of the things I enjoy most in life, she says. Whenever I arrive in a new country, I feel I have to go straight to the nearest flea market or souk and hunt for treasure. Whether it's family memories, the bed in her son's room was once her own childhood bed, or pieces brought home from holidays or work, the house is a colourful and characterful feast for the eyes and mind. I just wanted to have a bit of fun with it, she says, and I'm so pleased with how it's turned out. The best thing is that every room I walk into has something that makes me smile.